factoring problems. We'll go ahead and do this one here first. So I'm going to do the method of um, the diamond problem first, where you multiply these two numbers to get a 4 and a 5, and then you're multiplying 4 times 1 to get 4 and adding 4 times 1 to get 5. I'm then going to go ahead and rewrite this using the 1 and the 4 instead of my 5. And then I'm going to factor by grouping, kind of find out what's common in both of these. And you end up getting 2x plus 1 times x plus 2 as your factors. We double check. 2x squared, that works. 4x plus x is 5, and 2 is 2, so that works just beautifully. Now, for this guy here, oops, let me make that more visible. For this guy here, pretty simple. We use our diamond problem, 36 and 12. We're just finding the two numbers that multiply to get 36 and add to get 12. But I don't have to do anything else because there is only a 1 in front of there. So I simply use those two numbers and I'm done. Now, I don't like that because that's not very pretty. I, as a mathematician, would rather be more efficient and write down uh, the answer in quantity squared. Isn't that just prettier? Okay, let's go ahead and look at this one here. I want you to look at all of these. This is so worth your time. Do you see a common factor that can be pulled out? That is the first thing you're always supposed to do to these because when you do, oftentimes, it becomes a very simple question um, and much easier to work. So I am going to have a 2 there when I'm done. Negative 40 and negative 3, so that puts us at 8 and 5. Now, say you couldn't figure that out. There's not that many things you have to check. You have 1 and 40. That doesn't work. You have 2 and 20. That doesn't work. 3 doesn't go in. You have 4 and 10. That doesn't work. You have 5 and 8. Check. So with just going through the first four numbers, and you can use your calculator to help you if you aren't really good at and quick at your division, but you're just checking all the options in terms of trying to find out what the right answer is. There is only a 1 in front of here, so just like this one here, once you've done the diamonds, you're done. Dem and then dem. So we have x plus 5, and we also have x minus 8. All right, we're done.